Hello everybody and welcome to another Shadowcraft tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this skewed UV mapping or I don't know what to call it other than that maybe distorted or whatever it is. The idea of this one is that um, each tile would have a, a point randomly positioned. Um, this point is going to be the zero zero of that UV and then you know the next point in the next tile is going to be uh, one one and so on and so um, this is these are the material properties of course you can change the tile uh, smoothness is smoothness distortion how much distortion this is nothing right and this is a lot which if you go over some threshold you will have some weird stuff obviously um, also you can increase the number of points per tile right so if you go with two you will have each tile would have two points instead of one and um, you know you can have different um, values for like different effects and so uh, yeah so let's just jump into it and take a look at the graph the graph is quite simple and that's because most of the stuff is inside of this custom function um, and that's because it's going to be extremely difficult um, and a lot noisy to implement this all in the graph um, the graph is just getting the tiling float putting it in the tiling of the tiling offset node which goes into the UV of our custom function it takes also the distortion and uh, points uh, per tile and the output is you know your distorted UV which can be used for normal map and um, albedo and so on. So let's go into this custom function. Um, you can see, let me do this, put this guy here, and you can see the custom function has obviously three inputs. One is vector2, the UV, and two floats, and the output is uh, vector2. I'm using a file, and the name is going to be our function name, and the source is just going to be your, your file, right? You can create uh, the file with the extension uh, HLSL or whatever it is, I think. Um, then you can choose it from here. And um, yeah, so it's here, right? Now, if we open this guy, we will have some stuff, yeah? So our random function, which is 100% um, copied from the documentation of the random uh, node, of the shader graph right um, the only thing is that I changed this is usually uh, void and then there is some out parameter that is um, just like here right um, so to, I just converted it into a normal function where it returns a float and I do return for this stuff yeah um, I created this function which takes the seed and how much distortion we want now um, after that, we get the floor of that seed because, um, you know, so that it's uh, uh, tileable and we have only one uh, or we have a persistent uh, seed across one tile, right? So it, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and so on. Uh, all right, and then uh, our minimum is 0 0.5 minus distortion and maximum 0 0.5 plus distortion. And then I just use the uh, the function that we got from the docs. Uh, we pass in the seed, minimum and maximum. And um, for the, this is X and Y is just the same, uh, but we add some, whatever, some random float to into the seed, right? And then we add in uh, the floor UV such that it's not from 0 to 1, but rather it's the actual UV plus some uh, random thing, right? Um, yeah, and distance to line is a function that takes two points, um, actually three points, right? Uh, and it checks the distance of the third point from a line between these two points. Um, it's just some some pure math, right? Yeah, which I found somewhere on the internet. Um, we have our sine uh, dist, which 
takes the same stuff as the distance, just returns the sign, it's either minus one or plus one of the distance, right? Now our actual function, and you can see it has to be the same name, underscore um, the precision, which is float in our case. Um, yeah, and it takes, uh, as we saw, the UV, how much dis distortion, how many points per tile, and it outputs the uh, distorted UV, right? And then um, to do this stuff, we have to get or calculate our random points. And so center is basically the uh, the tile that the UV is currently in, the pixel is currently in, right? Which is gonna be UV, and we are gonna pass the distortion for all of them. And left is gonna be UV plus um, minus one, so it's gonna go to the tile on the left. Right is gonna go to the one on the right, and top uh, above, below uh, is the bottom one. And so this is how we know all of the points around this uh, tile, right? Except for one which is the diagonal one, we will calculate it a bit later. And after that, we want to um, calculate uh, basically which which uh, quarter in that in this tile. So basically, there is a center point, or there is a point in this tile, and we want to know uh, the current pixel is on which quarter uh, in uh, relatively to that point, right? And to do that, we check if the UVY is uh, greater than the y of this point the, that is in this um, tile, then um, we get the sign distance um, from uh, of the current pixel. So basically, what's the distance or what's the um, the, the the sign? Which is is it minus or is it plus? From basically checking, is it on the right side or is it on the left side of you know? The, the line that is drawn between the uh, point in this tile and the one at the top, right? Um, otherwise, we are uh, if if the uh, the pixel is below that point, we are gonna check between uh, this point, the the one in this tile, and the one in the tile below, right? And we do kind of the same thing for um, you know the y, which is is it on top or on the bottom? Uh, by checking if the x is larger than the point, which means it's on the right, then we check the distance between uh, our point and the point that is on the right tile. Otherwise, um, between the left and this point. Now we have um, these two values, which are going to tell us which points to use, right? Now, um, point two is going to be uh, the right point if uh, the pixel is um, on the right, right? Otherwise, it's the left one. And same thing goes for P4. It's going to be top uh, or bottom based on uh, where our pixel is. Now, P3 is the one that is diagonal. And so we get our UV and we add X and Y, which uh, are, are going to be if uh, based on the point, obviously, based on pixel related to the point. So if it is like in the first quarter, this is going to be minus one, uh, one, right? And so it's going to be, it's going to go left and top. So it's going to be um, diagonally the one uh, top left. And uh, same goes for like top right, bottom right, and bottom left. Now we have uh, all our points um, to which we want to calculate that UV in. Um, we just calculate the distance between uh, the point in this tile and point two, the point um, in this tile or or the pixel uh, between uh, and how far it is from the point two and three, um, and uh, between point three and four, point four and center. So like, um, you have your pixel and you want to know how far it is from the right side, the top side, the left side, and the bottom side of that. Um, uh, imaginary uh, square, right? Uh, and based on the distances, we do this calculation, which is that uh, get me how far is our pixel from um, uh, from the, uh, the 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 one either on the top or the bottom, 
so basically the right side, if we are talking about the, this quarter, the, the one on the left, get me um, the distance from the one on the right, right? Divide it by the distance, fr the, the overall distance, right? The Basically the length of, or the, the width of that square. Um, and then and that's going to be our X. And the Y is going to be on um, the, the distance between this pixel and the line at the top uh, over the of the the whole uh, length, right? Um, yeah, and then we just adjust for the uh, signal uh, by multiplying by the x and y, which uh, which are based on which uh, quarter, and we add this just to offset um, one of the quarters, which. Um, you can try it without it and, and see. It, it, it still works, but the UV does not look correct. Um, okay, and for calculating or for making it possible to add more points per tile, uh, we divide the results of this calculation by the number of points. And then we... Um, uh, here we add... We, we we get that which is say the, the number of points is two so the result can be maximum 0 0.5 and then we are going to add to that the um, uh, the remainder of dividing our uv over the number of points right which is which means is in, if it is two this is going to equal to either zero or one zero one zero one and we're going to multiply it by 1 over uh, the number of points. Um, which means if it is, it's going to, the UV is going to start from 0 and at 0 0.5. And then the next style is going to start from 0 0.5 and end at 1. Um, and so on. It just keeps on repeating. So yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the code. And uh, you can take a look here at the, the result of the UV which shows you this is zero zero and this is um, zero one this is one one and this is one zero or I guess the, the other way around and um, and the tile is actually here right so if we just open this guy um, or I guess if we just get the fraction of this guy you can see that the tiles are like this which means they are like this and just using the calculations we are uh, adding these imaginary points and calculating each pixel how far it is from this side over the the overall uh, uh, width and then how far it is from this side uh, uh, divided by the overall length and um, so yeah that's uh, that's it and that's going to be it for this tutorial as well. Um, make sure to check the links for my assets in the description below. I do not run ads, um, so that is the only way that you can support me. Um, and that's, uh, that's uh, all I have for today. Uh, have a nice one, and uh, enjoy your Unity stuff.